Our Jason Allen was along the Texas coast as Beryl came ashore early this morning. He is live now in Port O'Connor. So, Jason, what are you seeing now? Good morning, Karen. It is still overcast here in Port O'Connor, but as you mentioned, the rain bands starting to move to the east, and so thankfully the rain and now the wind here have stopped. You were talking about the dangers of flooding and heavy rain, and that's what this flooding you see behind me is from. The uh, residents telling us this is all just from the rain that fell here in Port O'Connor overnight, and this is one of the areas that was forecast or warned to see some storm surge from barrel in the overnight hours of four to seven feet of storm surge, but that never really materialized. If you look all the way up and down the street, you'll see that the pavement kind of reemerges here just a, you know, 50 yards or so from where we are. And the good news is, is that this minor localized flooding is just about as bad as it got. Now, this is a community both here in Port O'Connor, a Port Lavaca, where we rode out the storm in the overnight hours, that this was right in the center of one of the earlier forecast tracks. So a lot of people here did board up. A lot of people decided to evacuate and move out. But thankfully for the folks here, the storm moved a little bit further to the east. There are still some people here this morning, Karen, who are without power, but power crews are moving very quickly. As we drove into the area this morning, we did not see what we often do with storms like this, which is power lines down and lines snapped and tree debris all over the place. There is some of that and there will be some cleanup. But thankfully, folks here that are on the east side or I'm sorry, the west side of Lavaca Bay and going all the way down to Corpus Christi and further down to Brownsville, they were able, Karen, to escape the worst of this hurricane. All right, and that is certainly good news for them. All right, Jason, thank you very much.